Gus and his friends ran out of the school and hopped onto the bus for the bouncy ride home. On the way, he looked out the window, saw a flowing river, a field of boulders, a mountain with scrub brush and sticker bushes, and a large sewer pipe with something long and hairy poking out. the bus and start to shout at the students. school because he was so hungry. He had a growl in his stomach. He came home with that growl almost every day, except when they had the hot turkey dinner lunch at school. Gus started thinking about his favorite snack, crackers. Gus loved crackers. He loved all kinds of crackers, graham crackers, saltine crackers, animal crackers, even Mexican black bean and salsa crackers. But his favorite Cheese crackers, delicious, crunchy, salty, cheesy crackers. He ate them after school just about every day. snack time, the most wonderful part of the day. crackers. The whole neighborhood was just a bunch of cracker fanatics. Lee liked thin crackers, Rosa liked animal crackers, and Joe liked asparagus crackers. No, not really. His favorite were blueberry crackers. and went into his house. He threw his backpack on the floor and headed straight to the cracker drawer. 
And what do you think Gus saw? Nothing. The crackers were all gone. Where are my crackers? Gus bellowed. His first thought was that his pesky little brother ate them all, and he started to yell, Eddie, why'd you eat all my crackers? But his voice trailed off when he realized that Eddie was not home from school yet. Then Gus thought, maybe Dad ate them. Dad would sometimes finish off a box when he was done working at the town's famous Snackalicious factory. However, Dad was not home yet either. Then Gus went outdoors where his friends were playing soccer. Gus asked his friends to please share some of their crackers with him. But they didn't have any crackers either. Somebody was eating all their crackers as well. Who was eating everyone's crackers? children decided to stay up that night to see who was eating all the crackers. They turned out the lights and waited. They heard something scratching along the floor. And then they smelled something awful. It smelled like Grandpa's old boot. Creeping around the corner was a huge, fat rodent with a long, hairy tail. The children had seen him near the sewer pipe before. It was Ricky the River Rat. Ricky was mean. Ricky was foul. Ricky was a menace. He was known around town for stealing children's birthday cakes, trick-or-treat candy, and even Santa's Christmas cookies. The children gasped, and with that, the vile, stinky Ricky and his long, hairy tail scurried away. The neighborhood children hatched a plan to catch the rat. They would set a trap by using a large box with a stick holding it up. They would put a piece of cheese under the box. When Ricky the river rat went for the bait, they would pull the rope holding the stick and catch him in the box. The next night, all the kids in the neighborhood gathered in Gus's house. They waited and waited. The moon shone, the air cooled, and the boys and girls grew sleepy. smelled something terrible. It smelled like an old tuna fish sandwich that was left in a school locker for a month. It was Ricky, the river rat. children thought as Ricky slithered over to the trap.
disappointed children went home wishing they could have a bedtime cracker snack and thinking that was one sneaky, smelly rat. Not to be discouraged, Gus and Eddie came up with a new plan. The next day, the boys got out their fishing poles and carefully cut off some fishing line. They each took a piece of line and attached it to their belts. Then they connected both lines to the same hook and put a crunchy, salty cracker that Grandma gave them onto the hook. That night, they sat in the kitchen near the pots and pans and quietly waited for rotten old Ricky. They waited and waited Finally, they caught a ghastly whiff of the rat. He smelled like a cross between skunk cabbage and rotten egg. The boys heard the scratchy swish of Ricky's long rat tail. They saw Ricky's beady eyes shine with greed as he inched toward the bait. Ricky sniffed first, and with a big gulp, he took the bait. The boys yanked the line and shouted, we got him! Ricky jumped up and ran for the door. The nasty old rat was so strong that he pulled the boys like they were nothing at all. driveway they went and right into the sewer. Ah, Gus, said Gus. Mama, said Eddie. Through the sewer pipe they went, oozing through the wet slime. They squeezed out of the pipe. Pop! Ricky yanked the boys up the side of the mountain, scraping them through scrub brush. Ouch! And dragging them through the sticker bushes. Yow! Over the top of the mountain, the three went, wildly bashing into boulders. began sliding down, down, down into a nasty puddle of mud that splashed all over their faces. And with a mighty tug, Ricky pulled them straight into the cold river. <laughs> Gas 
gasping for air, the brothers held on tight to each other. Wildly, they thrashed down the rushing river. The river's huge waves crashed over the big rocks. Rapids! Rapids! shouted Gus. They were tossed back and forth, up and down, but the brave boys still kept their heads above water. and Eddie were becoming exhausted. They didn't know how much longer they could hang on. Suddenly, Gus grabbed a tree branch that was hanging low over the water. Quickly, he pulled Eddie up onto the branch. The quick-thinking boys tied their lines to the branch as fast as their cold, tired fingers would allow. Yank! Ricky was caught. He was stuck in the river. Ricky was angry. He dove into the water. He leaped into the air. He shook, and he shook, and he shook. <laughs> Snap! The fishing lines broke, and at the same time, Ricky's rotten teeth popped straight out of his mouth. With a tremendous splash, Ricky the River Rat swam away, never to be seen again. The boys carefully edged their way along the branch until they got to the shore. They ran home to tell everyone the news of their adventure. Hooray! Gus and Eddie were heroes. The townspeople would never have to worry about Ricky chewing up their tasty treats again. The next day on the bus, Gus, dreaming of a soon-to-be cracker snack, looked at the river out the window. There, he saw the branch where they almost caught that mean, hairy, and smelly rat. standing by a river and see some fishing line dangling from a tree branch, you will know just where they last saw Ricky the River Rat.